Hey, Tommy from the Run Testers. In this video, we are going to be doing a versus of the A6 Nova Blast 4 and the Sockney Ride 17. Now, Nick received his uh, A6 Nova Blast 4 from the guys over at Sport Shoes. We're not paid to do this review, so we can say whatever we want. But big thanks to the guys at Sport Shoes for getting these over so that we can do this versus and a load of reviews. Also, if you go into the caption below, you can find a link to the Nova Blast 4. This is an affiliate link, so we do receive money if you buy through that link. Uh, so just be aware of that if you click on it. Right, let's dive in and do the versus. <laughs> The Saucony Ride 17 costs £135 or $140. It weighs 285 grams or 10 ounces for men in the size 8 and the drop is 8 millimetres. The A6 Nova Blast 4 costs £135 or $140. It weighs 256 grams or 9 ounces for men in a size 8 and the drop is 8 millimetres. The Saucony Ride 17 receives a big update in the form of a new Power Run Plus midsole, the same material used in the Triumph 21. This addition dramatically changes the experience of running in the ride to provide more cushioning, increased energy return and a smoother transition. Built for daily miles, the Ride 17 aims to provide a balance of comfort, versatility and a touch of stability for ticking off the miles. The upper also sees an upgrade with a new engineered mesh design to improve breathability and a 360 degree fit to ensure a good lockdown. On the outsole, there's a generous layer of rubber to protect the midsole and provide a good level of grip on varied road surfaces. And there's plenty of interior padding for a plush level of step-in comfort. The Nova Blast 4 sees some big changes from the previous version. The biggest of those is the new FF Blast Eco Plus foam that aims to provide a softer ride with more energy return when you want to pick up the pace. There's also an updated shoe geometry that combines the trampoline inspired midsole with a higher stack of midsole foam. There's an engineered woven mesh upper that offers a plush fit as well as plenty of breathability and flexibility as well as a gusseted tongue to prevent slip. And there's a healthy covering of Ahar outsole rubber across the shoe to improve grip and durability so when it comes to fit i ran in a uk and a half in both of these shoes and that's how i would go I'd go true to size in both of them i get good hold in the heel in both there's no slipping the lockdown's gonna have to work the lice is a bit tighter in the nova blast i'd be a bit more aware of that partly i think because you've got that kind of roomier toe box you can feel a little bit more airy and spacious up top so i just had to work a little bit harder to get that locked down but there's plenty of room in the toe box of both of these more wiggle room in the nova blast 4 than the ride but they are both quite roomy and i would recommend going true to size in both of these shoes unless you want a really sort of more snug fit in which case maybe with the nova blast you might consider going half a size down so the fit for me in these two shoes the a6 nova blast i'm a size 8 in the uk this is a size 8 i found it to be completely fine uh, the previous versions of the nova blast were slightly narrow or some people found them to be slightly narrow there's an updated upper on the nova blast 4 which is a little bit more forgiving a little bit roomier uh, and just means you've got a little bit more space in that forefoot so i would stay to my size in the nova blast 4 the ride 17 Again, I found it fine for my UK size eight, but what I would say is that it's a slightly narrower midfoot shape. So if you do have a wider foot, you might notice that, but for me, it was absolutely fine and there was plenty of space before my big toe in the shoe. So I would stick to my size in both of these shoes. When it comes to fit of these two shoes, I have the same size in both, which is a UK nine, and with both ASICs and Saucony, that's a US 10, that's how it uh, translates, and both of them have a really good fit for me. Nice amount of room in the toe box, no problems there, good hold around the heel and midfoot, no concerns with my foot moving laterally, very easy to get a nice secure fit with the laces as well. So yeah, I would definitely recommend sticking to your normal running shoe size of both shoes, it's been very good for me throughout my testing. So these are two shoes that have come out recently which are doing a very similar job and they're both shoes that I have really worn to um, in, in testing over the past few weeks. I've probably done about 50k in both of these shoes and that has varied between park run, interval sessions, longer runs and easy runs. Uh, what I would say is I'll start off with the Nova Blast 4. The Nova Blast is an interesting shoe range because it's developed quite a bit over the past few years. I was a massive fan of the original Nova Blast because I just found it to be a very surprising shoe for the price. It was quite bouncy. Uh, it just felt really fun to run in and have a nice soft midsole foam, but you've got a nice bit of return from it as well. The only problem in that shoe was it, it was a little bit wobbly and unstable, which caused problems for some people. Over the more recent versions of that shoe, the, that level of wobbliness has been fixed by a wider midsole and a little bit more stability. 
But over time, up until the Nova Blast 3, that dulled the benefit of the of the ride for me. Uh, so I really wasn't a big fan of the Nova Blast 3. It just felt to be a bit of a dull shoe um, and didn't really get a lot out of it. Nova Blast 4, I'm glad to say, is a nice improvement on the Nova Blast 3. This midsole foam just, it's, there's a little bit more foam in there. It just feels a little bit more responsive. It feels like it compresses a little bit more, but gives you that energy return back. Uh, and it just feels like there's a bit more of a, a pronounced rocker to the shoe. So it's a bit of a smoother transition. Help feels like it's helping you move forward more than the Nova Blast 3 did for me. Nova Blast 3 was a completely comfortable shoe. It just didn't really feel like it gave me anything uh, and just sat in that realm of cushion shoe, max cushion shoes that just were there for ticking off the miles. Whereas the Nova Blast 4 just feels like there's more to it. It's just a little bit more performance focused. It's not the fastest shoe in the world, but it does feel like a more rounded daily shoe than some of the earlier versions for me. Um, and as a result, I've just been enjoying using this a lot more. I found that it's good for those runs that fit between those sort of daily runs where you're going out and you just want to tick the miles but you want to have fun you want to have the ability to pick up the pace a little bit uh, and you just want something that's really driving you forward so for the track session that i did in these um it's not the most amazing shoe for doing a track session in but it does feel like there's a little bit more to this shoe because of the midsole foam responsiveness and that little bit of energy return you get from it it's definitely a shoe that i would pick up now as a, a daily shoe where i might want to go out and I'm not sure what sort of run I'm going to be doing. I might want to pick up the pace a bit more in it. This shoe can do that now. Um, it's not the most versatile daily shoe out there, but it's definitely an improvement on uh, the Nova Blast 3 for me. Ride 17 is another shoe line that has seen a lot of developments uh, over the past few years. Obviously, it's a shoe line that's a lot longer. Uh, it's been going on for quite a long time now. Ride 15 and 16, I thought were fine as daily shoes they didn't really do a lot the midsole foam was a bit of an old style midsole foam didn't really have a lot of energy return in it didn't really have a lot of responsiveness in it it was just a solid comfortable daily shoe that you could use for fairly comfortable uh, runs it was also a shoe that you could use if you wanted to pick up the pace a little bit but it was by no means a particularly fast shoe and it also wasn't very cushioned either it just didn't really sit into that world where shoes are trying to be more versatile these days it just sat right in the middle as like a general shoe that you could do 10 to 15k in and it was fine but i never really enjoyed those shoes um so i was really excited when the new ride 17 came out because it has the new midsole foam and it's power run plus midsole foam which is the same you get in the Saucony triumph 21 and the 20. now by updating the midsole foam the ride in the ride is very different it is nearing what you would expect from the triumph now which makes it a shoe that is a there's a little bit more to it it's a bit more energy return in it it just feels a little bit like you can run further run a bit faster in it um and as a result it's a significantly improved shoe for me i think it's a really interesting option now and i would never have said that about the previous two versions of the shoe uh the midsole foam even though on paper the shoe looks like the triumph 21 um, it's not, it doesn't feel that much like the Triumph 21. It, it, it feels a little bit more, there's, there's some more stability in the shoe. It's a bit heavier. Um, it's a very solid shoe. Um, but I'd also say that it feels a little bit firmer as well if you compare it with the Triumph 21. So it's definitely a shoe that d d shares a lot of similarities with the Triumph 21, but it, it, it's a different shoe. Um, so when I'm comparing these two shoes, the main things that I say is that the Ride 17 is noticeably heavier than the Nova Blast 4, but they are quite similar in how they deliver. I've done similar runs in both of these shoes and both seem to have the same level of versatility for me. I think there's a nice little pickup in the Ride 17, same as in the Nova Blast 4. I think they're both relatively solid for easy runs. I would say the Nova Blast 4 has just got a slightly more enjoyable midsole foam if you're doing easy or longer stuff. Uh, and I'd say that the Ride 17 is probably better for shorter distance stuff. But I did feel that even though it was heavier, I could pick up the pace a little bit more in the Ride 17, probably because of that firmer, more responsive midsole foam um, that it's got in it now. Uh, other than that, 
they're a really tricky pair to to compare between because they're quite similar in a lot of the things that they're trying to do and originally i wouldn't have said that about the the previous ride versions and, and the nova blast um but other things i would say as well are the outsole so the outsole in the ride 17 is absolutely fantastic uh, there's a really healthy layer of outsole rubber on there very solid good gripping the wet ground no issues in it at all very much enjoyed running in the shoe and had no um, problems in running on the wet road in brighton uh, and the outsole on the nova blast has changed slightly from the previous versions i've always found it to be a pretty good outsole i know that the um, nova blast 3 had the tr version which was a trail version of or semi trail version of the outsole which just gave it a little bit more grip slightly bigger lugs on it um, but it was really a, a shoe that was designed to, to deal with um, slightly trickier ground a bit better like public footpaths and things like that where you need a little bit more grip um, but I, I have found that the outsole on the uh, Nova Blast 4 has been absolutely fine for me on out on the road conditions no issues at all um, and yeah I think they're pretty similar or I would probably say Ride 17 is just a little bit better when it comes to grip so for my run tests, in testing I've run about the same volume, close to 40 test miles in both of these shoes. That's at mixed paces from slow plods to marathon pace and beyond. I've covered different terrain including roads, off-road river paths. I've run up to 120 minutes on a long run test in the Ride 17 as well as an all-out treadmill 5k. I have pushed an overblast to 5k pace but not for a whole 5k just in testing whilst I was running. And in short, from those tests, I've loved the Ride 17. I'm a big fan of the brilliant comfort and natural versatile ride straight out of the box. The Nova Blast 4 has impressed me more than any previous Nova Blasts. It's tuned a bit more responsive, a bit less soggy than past Nova Blasts. So I've enjoyed my miles in that up to a point. I also did a side-by-side -side mile in both shoes to compare the feel and the ride. And here's what I found. So I've just done a side-by-side -side mile. I've got the Socony Ride 17 on the left foot. I've got the Nova Blast 4 on the right foot. I've been running around this park that's full of people. I look a right wally because one of them is neon green. The other one's bright yellow, but it is done. So what that's told me about these shoes, they're both quite big shoes, really. The Nova Blast is the biggest of the pair of them, still oversized. It's got the widest platform. I think you know, the Socony Ride 17's platform is nice and wide and nice and stable. Your feet won't feel well kind of cocooned and well uh, held. They're well cradled basically. The Nova Blast 4 do that even more so. That forefoot and the heel flaring is so wide that you know you basically you can't help but sort of land here in the middle of the foam. You've obviously got that bigger stack of foam in terms of the Nova Blast. You've got Flight Foam Eco Plus going on here with a higher stack. You do notice it, although the Nova Blast 4, they've tuned it to be slightly more responsive. That foam gives back a little bit more immediacy than in older Nova Blasts. And you've got a bit more of a pronounced rocker going on. It actually takes it closer to the Ride 17 now in terms of the overall ride, I think, than you had with the earlier Nova Blasts versus the earlier Ride shoes. These two are now much closer together overall. I think you get a more of a rolling response out of the Ride 17. Than you do from the Nova Blast. I still feel like I'm getting a little bit of that sink and waiting for the foam to come back. Whereas the Ride 17, it does sink, but it just comes back a little bit more urgently. There's a bit more response, a bit more propulsion in the kind of rocket roll through. Yeah, I think you're going to be able to cover sort of similar runs and similar miles in these two shoes because the Nova Blast is a bit more responsive. But it just, I can't get away from the fact that it just feels like a lot of shoe on the foot, even though it's quite light actually for such a great big kind of max stack shoe. I prefer the Ride 17 for just feeling a little bit more compact. It feels a little bit more precise because you've got that narrower landing zone. In terms of the way they feel on the foot, the step in comfort, I find the Ride 17 to be a much more natural overall shoe, partly down to the fact that it's not quite so big. Now I tend to strike kind of mid to four foot depending on how tired I am. Sometimes I'll rock a little bit further back on my heels, but I think if you're a heel striker, you're gonna get more from the Nova Blasts here. That big protruding heel is giving you a lot more protection at the back than you maybe get from the Ride 17. That might help you with your roll through. In terms of sort of mid to four foot runners, I do feel like there's a similar sort of rockering going on here in these two shoes. And both of them are pretty good at helping you kind of clip over quite nicely. So I've been testing both of these shoes uh, over a similar period, over the Christmas period here in the UK, and I've used them for a very similar range of runs actually as well. Looking at them as quite versatile daily trainers, I've done some nice easy mooching around of them. I've done a long run in both of the shoes, and I've also done a speed session in both of them as well. I do think they're pretty capable shoes all round. Uh, in terms of the ride feel of both, I do think that the 
fantastic because maybe that little bit more springy and exciting out of the box but my general experience over time with uh, the power run plus foam and socket issues and indeed the nova blast range is that i find that the nova blast does deaden down a little bit it hasn't happened too much with the fourth version yet after about 60k but i do think one of the big plus points of the power run plus is how resilient it remains over extended use and maybe down the end of the lifespan of the shoe you might be getting a slightly bouncier feeling out of the Saucony ride than you do from the Nova Blast 4 but that's a little bit of speculation I actually think the ride feel is very good in both of them early on in my testing here and I do find they're both quite versatile I think the ASICS is more versatile for me it's a lighter shoe on paper and actually in practice I find the Ride 17 felt a bit bulkier and heavier than it even does on paper so I didn't like it so much for the faster stuff whereas Nova Blast 4 I felt very comfortable in I did like a 20 times 60 seconds on 30 seconds off interval session in that shoe going straight into a park run pacing a 20 minute at park run and yeah it felt really good for that especially actually four minute k-ing in the shoe in general has felt great also in the long run i did i was kind of up and down with pace on a hilly route but then i came down to about four minute per k just to finish off the run and it does feel very good for that the nose blaster uh, four i'd say is then not quite so good when you push beyond that because i do think it's more at the uh, workhorse daily trainer end of things rather than all-out speed shoe but i think it is a more comfortable shoe at pace than the Saucony ride 17 which i thought was really good for just generally cruising around but i didn't feel like it had a really a good top gear to go into like i think it'd be a reasonably good first hole shoe if you're a newer runner like it can handle a bit of speed work but if you're someone who's very focused on speed work like i am constantly doing structured training and has a, sh a shoe rotation i think the nose blast is the more versatile option the ride i'd probably restrict more to just those easy runs so whereas i found nose blast had a little bit more about it for the faster stuff although i would prefer to just use the nose blast for those easy runs as well and have a faster shoe in my rotation overall they probably would cover off similar bases in my rotation i didn't find the ride feel as different as you perhaps might expect i was running in both shoes at the same time you'd think oh you know the Nova Blast is very different to something like the Ride, which is a much more solid, steady shoe, and the Nova Blast is much more lively and exciting and all that. And actually, that really wasn't the case at all when I ran in them at both times. They're both quite solid workhorse shoes, good, reliable foams in them, just maybe with the Nova Blast having that little bit extra in terms of bounce at this stage of my testing. But at the back of my mind, my suspicion might be that, that the Power on Plus foam might hold on to its uh, resiliency a bit longer into the lifespan of the shoe. Okay, so my verdict on these two shoes is a tricky one because they are sort of doing the same thing, but the benefits, I think, are a little bit different in both of these shoes. The Ride 17 is a bit heavier. I definitely prefer the Nova Blast um, just because it's a little bit lighter, a little bit more propulsive for me. Uh, I do like the, the added stability of the Ride 17. I think it's a very solid feeling shoe. Uh, I think it definitely feels like your foot's firmly in place. Uh, and it does feel a little bit more responsive for me because of that slightly firmer midsole foam. But when it comes down to it, I'm going to go for the Asics Nova Blast 4. I think it's a vast improvement on the previous versions. Uh, I think it is now a more rounded daily shoe. I think you can do easy runs all the way up to not fast runs, but you can do faster efforts in this shoe and it will it will keep up with you. Um, the Ride 17, I just think, is a little bit skewed more into that central world of daily runs. It's not particularly great at easy runs. Um, and uh, for the faster stuff, I think it's, it's okay. Uh, but I think it's just a little bit limited when compared to the Nova Blast. I definitely do longer runs and stuff in the Nova Blast as well. So I'm going to go for the Nova Blast. They're both fairly equally priced as well. Um, so yeah, sticking with the Nova Blast 4 in this versus. So my verdict here, I think this is quite a tough one. I think these are both pretty good shoes. Shoes I'd be pretty happy to have in a rotation as a kind of general work or shoe, probably skewed more towards easy runs. I think I slightly have preferred the feel of the Asics Nova Blast 4 in my testing compared to the Ride 17. Do appreciate that it's a fair bit lighter it feels a bit more sprightly as well for faster runs and i think that carries over into long runs and it's you know, probably slightly more fun even just for general short easy runs as well ride 17 i think is a fantastically dependable workhorse of a shoe it's one i'd have no problem recommending to lots of people i think it will work really well for newer runners in particular who just want an all-rounder shoe that's going to last a long time pretty slightly better grip than the nova blast as well so certainly there's appeal to both of these shoes here i don't think you can really go too wrong with them and i do think the ride 17 is a very easy recommend to people because I just think it's such a generally pleasing shoe that's unlikely to really offend anyone. I don't think the Nova Blast 4 will either now. I think maybe in some of the early versions it was a little bit wobbly and maybe slightly concerning, but I think this latest version is a pretty solid all-round shoe. It's not maybe as lively as some of the very early versions of the Nova Blast, but it is still a fun ride. And I do think it's slightly more versatile than Ride 17, a little bit more fun to run in in general. So I'd just about give it the Nova Blast, but certainly the Ride 17 would be a shoe I'd very happily recommend to lots of people as a guaranteed crowd pleaser. Now I've got to say, as somebody who hasn't really been a fan of the Nova Blast for any of the generations, someone who's been a fan of previous Ride generations and someone who has waxed lyrical on this channel about the Ride 17 already quite a lot and not been so effusive about the Nova Blast, 
I was expecting these two rides to be sort of very different. And I was expecting to really, you know, notice the Ride 17 being, you know, much different when they're both on the foot. But in actual fact, I have to admit it, the ride is much, much more similar than I thought. And uh, all my complaints about the Nova Blast really uh, somewhat, I've had to question them as I'm running around on that lap. Now, the one thing I'm not so sure about, the ride maybe there's a similarity here. I think they're both gonna be better at your easier paces than they are at your top paces. They both can go at a faster clip if you really have to do it, but that's not really where they perform best. They have that versatility, but it's not their A game. The other thing I think that I'm really surprised about is just, there's not a huge amount to choose in terms of when that foam comes back. The Sockney Ride 17 is a little bit more immediate. It's a bit more responsive and I prefer it because of that. And yes, the Nova Blast is still a massive shoe on the foot. And um, I think that still means that I prefer the Ride 17, but I'm gonna be honest here. The difference between these two is far less mark than I thought before I came out and did this mile. So then just to summarize quickly, I think you've got two shoes here that will be very popular. But if I have to pick one shoe out of both of them, it's gonna be the Ride 17 for me, though it ended up being a much closer contest than I'd imagined. That's it from us. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the little bell and all the things that make us happy. And if you go into the caption below, you can find a link to Sports Shoes uh, to find out more about the A6 Nova Blast 4. Right, thanks a lot. Catch you next time.